Excuse me, Mr. Mayor. Did you um, happen to find out why or whatever happened with the uh, agenda for the February 28th, 2024 uh, meeting? February 28th? 2024. 2024 meeting. And what meeting was that for? It was the first meeting for the CBA. The first meeting. For, I wasn't present for that meeting, um, but the minutes should be there. Well, I don't know if they have minutes, but it was posted. Um, but I can, I can get that information. Too. But I wasn't present for that for that meeting. Yes, that's yeah. one of my concerns is yeah. that I believe that whatever quorum requirements were for that meeting, that you were supposed to be there. No. no. Uh, so uh, I... I am a representative of the city, but I also had a, other representatives of the city that, that can be there at the meeting. Um, because there was no action being taken at that meeting, all it was was to um, receive the, I guess, the requests from the association themselves. But since there were no actual decisions or actions made at that time, um, then I didn't have to be present for that. Okay. Yeah, so that's, that's all it was. It was just the receiving of the requests from them, of what they were looking for as far as an association. Are you aware that 2.5 hours of legal services were charged for that meeting? Yes, yes. So that, and well, I don't know if it was 2.5 hours, but every, all the hours that were associated with the meetings have been approved and are accurate. So for, and I, I know you're referring to our, our legal, um, to Sylvia Firth's hours, correct? But everything has been uh, accurately uh, represented. But that's not true, sir, because... But that's... That, from everything has been accurately represented um, for the time that she had, because she not only worked this time, um, so there were hours put in because there were other issues that were going on in the city. What, what do you mean by other issues? There's well, that... there's other other work that she does aside that that it's not just this meeting itself. But I'm only speaking yeah. about that one yeah. particular day. Yeah. Well, but what I can say is that all the hours were accurately represented. That's what I'm disputing, sir, is that on okay. February 28th, 2024, mm -hmm. yeah. I was physically in the room and I recorded the meeting. Yes, sir. And there was not 2.5 hours of work done legally for legal services. Well, that's just for the sitting of the meeting. That's not going over um, uh, the request itself and reviewing the request. That doesn't have to take part here during the meeting. You realize that what you just said is a violation of the Open Meetings Act? No, because she she does work outside of here. Not everything is her work does not only pertain to city council meeting. She does work in review as well. Okay, but the legal services were for February twenty eighth, twenty twenty four. And so I'll review it again for you, and I'll get you that information so that way you have. And I'll have my my legal team and um, our city clerk get you the information that you need. I, I, I hate to come across as if, you know, the world revolves around me. I mean, I'm just a citizen like anybody else. I'm not asking for any special favors or treatment. But obviously, since I am the individual asking you these questions, um, you know, I just I know you're a busy man. You got to go. But that, but that's that's the issue I have is that that particular day, I am very confident that that the legal services that were charged are not accurate. Um, and and I understand your question, and I'll get you the information that you need. That shows that it was everything was was represented accurately. So I'll get you that information. So. Okay, and then hand in hand with that issue is the Open Meetings Act issue, which is that you know one of the most critical parts of the Open Meetings Act is that the general public is notified with an agenda for each meeting. That's one of the most basic parts of the Texas Open Meetings Act. Uh, for that meeting on February 28, 2024, that did not happen. Um, therefore, the meeting itself was posted. I think there was a, a concern as to where it was posted and how it was posted, but um, but the, the meeting itself was posted. Okay, but the posting itself, yes, I hear the words coming out of your mouth that it was posted, but the piece of paper that was up there mm -hmm. did not meet the requirements of the Texas Meeting Open Meetings Act, is what I'm saying. Okay, so I'll, re I'll review that as well. And then I'll get back to you and I'll an answer for that. And if they made a mistake, we made a mistake, right? People are, hu are, are nobody's perfect, we're humans. Uh, and if there was a mistake, then we'll correct that mistake, but I don't believe that there was a mistake. Made. Unfortunately, sir, it doesn't work like that. There well, is. Uh, I, what I'm saying is I'll give you the, 
I'll, I'll give you a response. Let me look into it. I've, I've heard what your concern is. Yes, sir. I'll look into your response and then I'll get back to you. I don't have an issue with that at all. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I, I'm not trying to come across as adversarial. I know I might look like I'm tense or whatever. And I but know you're trying to clarify. Yeah. And clarify and clarify and clarify. But understand that I've, uh, I've heard what you've asked for um, pertaining to that specific date. And I'll get you the answers that you, that you need. Okay. And the last thing I'd like to leave you with is that all these things that are coming out of my mouth, all these things that I'm telling you, I have video evidence, so you don't have to believe a word I say. I also have documents from the Texas Attorney General written in October of 2008, which very clearly outline the requirements for creating an agenda for any public meeting. Those requirements were not met for the February 28, 2024 meeting. There's other meetings which I have suspicions about, but I'm dead certain about the February 28, 2024 meeting. So I just, that's what I'd like to leave you with, is that that meeting was not held legally. Um, I don't know what the quorum requirements were for that meeting, but I'm dead certain about the agenda. Right off the bat, the fact that there was no legally prepared agenda, right there off the bat means that that meeting was not held legally. Also, uh, to follow up with that, and again, I know you have to go, but to follow up with that, the individual that created that agenda... Um, you probably don't remember exactly our conversation back in late April, but the individual that created that agenda, uh, Lieutenant Casey Valdez, badge number 136, she did not take Open Meetings Act training. So that's a contributing factor to this situation is that the individual that was in charge of creating the agendas for these um, collective bargaining agreement union meetings um, was, you know, not knowledgeable in the law because that individual was not trained in the first place. Again, I'm not an attorney. Right. Um, I will have to defer to my legal counsel the same way you would have to defer to your legal counsel. I don't have a legal counsel. Well, yeah. Um, yeah. But you, know, you understand what I'm saying. Uh, my response. I'm not an attorney. Okay. You know, so I, I can't answer that, you know, because uh, I'm not an attorney. I would have to go to my legal counsel. Because you, you because you're, if, uh, let's just say, I understand what your request is, and, and I'll get to the, the response. Let me just ask you one last question, Mr. Mayor. I know you're a busy man, but have you taken Open Meetings Act training? Yes, I have. Um, do, you, do you understand the very basic fundamentals of the Texas Open yes, Meetings Act? Yes, and I, but I'm not, I have to go. Okay. Okay, but um, I am glad that you come out to our, to our meetings. I'm glad that someone from the public is out here um, because, you know, that's what this is about. Like we talked about earlier, this transparency, right? I want to make sure that that people know what's happening here in Horizon. Um, and, I'll, and because of that, with that question, I'll get you to answer that truth. And I'm going to leave you with one last statement. I know you got to walk away, but I'm going to leave you with this statement, is that you, Andy Renteria, you represent the people Absolutely. of Horizon City, Texas. Because I live here, too. Yes, sir. Yes. yes sir. But now you're in this leadership position. Absolutely. Even as a city council member, you were. Absolutely. But now you're the mayor. Yeah, absolutely. So if you don't remember anything else, what I'd like to leave you with is this. Consent of the governed. This town government needs to operate under the Texas Open Meetings Act so that the people of Horizon City, Texas receive the service of the city council and the mayor, which means that the Republican form of government uh, and consent of the governed is enforced. That is what the Texas Open Meetings, uh, Open Meetings Act is all about. That's what I want to leave you with. No All right. Thank you, sir. You got it, buddy. Yes. Okay. Good seeing you again, though. Oh, absolutely. Right. Thank you for your service.